doing? Well, it's Valentine's Day. Yes, but you guys know by the time the kids see this, Valentine's Day will be gone. Oops, sorry. Happy Valentine's Day. Hope you had a good one. Again, by the time they see this, it's going to be gone. Remember, Miss Katie's helping Mrs. Tag now film the movie, the, the story times for the kids. And it's after Valentine's that they're going to see letter R. Oh, well, I hope it was a good one. It's okay, guys. Moo. All right. I'm going to take my mask off, but we are open for kids to come into the library now. No story times yet. They all have to still be filmed. You can still come in, though, and you can get the make and takes to take the projects home. I'll show you a picture later of what we're going to make this time. Hey, guys. Lots of kids have told us they want us to sing their songs. <sighs> them, them, their names in the song. Oh, okay. Are you ready to help me? Moo. Yeah, I'm ready. Remember, it's oh, the more you get together. You guys ready to help me sing? Moo. Here we go. Oh, the more we get together, together, together. Moo, 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 moo. The happier we'll be for your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. Oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. I see Levi and Jameson and Lily and Tessa and Levi and Madeline and Lauren and Cooper and Zoe and Eli. Moo, 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 moo. No, Maeve. I know she starts with a mmm, but it's Maeve. Maeve and Allie and Jacoby and Emily and Alethea and Joshua and James and Colin and the mommies and the daddies and the grandpas, maybe a grandma or a nanny or a brother or a sister. Oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll move. Okay, you guys ready? Thanks for letting us sing, Mrs. Tig. You're welcome. The kids like to hear you sing. Yeah, I like to sing too. I miss them. I miss them too. But they can come in and visit. Remember, they can still come in and check out books. We just can't do story time yet. Okay, I'll watch for them when they come to check out books. Okay. All right, you guys go on the floor. Today's letter is the letter R. Our sound is R. Can you say that? R. Yes, I hear R in the word rabbit or the word raccoon. And guess what? That's what we're going to make today. We're going to make raccoons. If you come for a make it, take it today. Oh, these are the little extra ones. You got a lot of little raccoons on here. You're going to make a little raccoon like this. We've got some paper torn up for you and some googly eyes, not googly eyes, but big eyes for the raccoon. Maybe you see these sometimes walking around in your yard. So, er is going to be today for raccoon. I have the book here, but I got to do Aunt Ellie's alligator first. We'll put this one down. Ready, Aunt Ellie alligator? Yup. Remember, yes, I'm part of a book. You are, aren't you? Yup. The ABC book. I'm the first letter in the alphabet. You are. All right, alligator, you sit there. Here we have our book, Dr. Seuss's ABC. Dr. Seuss he used to love to draw crazy characters. When he was a, t a little kid at school, his teachers didn't like it very much. But guess what? He turned out to be a pretty famous guy. Dr. Seuss's ABC. Big A, little A, what begins with A? And Allie's alligator, A, A, A. And A says two sounds. It says A when it's his name, or the long sound, or the short sound, and he says ah. Big B, little B, what begins with B? Barber baby bubbles in a bubble B. B says ba, ba, ba. Big C, little 
we'll see. What begins with C? Camel on the ceiling. C, C, C. C says two sounds. He's not a vowel, but he says a hard sound. He goes k, k, k. And the soft sound goes s. Big D, little D. David Donald do dreamed a dozen donuts in a duck dog too. And the D sound says d, d, d. A, B, C, D, E. Ear, egg, elephant, E, E, E. E says two sounds, it's a vowel. It says his long sound is his name, E. His short sound is A, A, A. Big F, little F. Four fluffy feathers on a fiffer, feffer, feff. And F sound is It's kind of a quiet sound. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Goat, girl, goo, goo, goggles, G, G, G. G is not a vowel, but it does say two sounds. It says J, J, J for his hard sound. And, no, that's his soft sound, sorry. And G, G, G is his hard sound. Hard sound. The hard sound is in the back of your throat. You go, g, g, g. Big H, little H, hungry horse, hay. Hen in a hat, hooray, hooray. And H's sound is, When you see the letter H, you know it's an H, but it also has a sound to help you read words. He says, Big I, little I, 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 I. Ichabob is itchy. So am I. I is a vowel. It has two sounds. His short sound is I. His long sound, he says his name. He says I. Big J, little J. What begins with J? Jordan, Jerry Jordan's jelly bar and jam begin that way. And J's sound is J, J, J. Big K, little K, kitten kangaroo. Kick a cattle kite in a king's kerchoo. I remember the kerchoo in my arm this time. K sound is k, k, k. Big L, little L, little Lulu lap. Left leg, lazy lion, licks a lollipop. So that is a letter L, but the sound that L makes is O. Big M. Little M, many mumbling mice are making midnight moon music in the moonlight. Mighty nice. And here's the little M. He's going, mm, mouse. He says, mm. So the M letter, his sound though says, mm. Big N, little N, what begins with those? Nine new neckties in a nightshirt in a nose. And the sound of N is, Mm. Oh, it's very useful. We use it when we say Oscar's only ostrich oiled an orange owl today. And O is a vowel. He says two sounds. His short sound is ah. His long sound is when he says his name. Oh. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O. Painting pink pajamas, policeman in a pail, Peter Piper's puppy, and now Papa's in a pail. And P sound is p, p, p. Big Q, little Q, what begins with Q? The quick queen of Quincy in her quacking quackaroo. And Q says quack, quack, kind of like a little baby duck, I say. He says quack, 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 quack. quack. This is our letter for today, R. Big R, little R, Rosie Robin Rose. Rosie Robin Ross. Rosie's going right in on her red rhinoceros. And R sound is R. And you know what? Way in the back of this book, it's just like the beginning of the book, the letters of the alphabet. And the back of the book has a letter of their alphabets too. We forgot to say them. Shall we say them all together? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, 
K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. And our letter today is R. And R is the sound you hear. R is used to spell the word raccoon. And the sound is R. I'm going to get my book. Okay, my book. Remember, it's about a raccoon. And look at this cute little raccoon. He's swinging in the swing. And the story's name is, title is A Friend for All Seasons. The author of the story is Mia Matowska. And the illustrator is Julia Hubry. The illustrator draws the pictures and the author writes the words. A friend for all seasons. Look at that raccoon. Hmm, there's leaves falling down. I wonder what season that might be when the leaves change color. You know what it is. It's fall. You're right. It's fall. The pages are sticking. I gotta find them. Thank you for your patience. Robbie Raccoon loved his house. He loved the long swishy grass, the sparkling stream, and the rustling trees. But most of all, Robbie loved Old Father Oak. He's this tree right here. See? He's up there hiding. That's where Robbie's at. <clears throat> Robbie was born in the cozy den high in Father Oak's sturdy trunk. In the spring, he learned to climb on Father Oak's strong branches. And all summer long, he played with his friends, Chip and Blackbird, in the shade of Father Oak's green leaves. So here's Blackbird, and here's Chip. On the first day of fall, Robbie woke early, kissed his mother, and tiptoed out to find Chip. But all Robbie found was a chilly, silvery mist. Hmm. wonder what it could be. He crept to the end of the branches. There he found a pretty golden leaf. Should I pick it? Would Father Oak mind? Suddenly, the leaf dropped twirling away in the mist. Maybe Father Oak wants me to have it. As Robbie scampered after it, another leaf dropped out of the mist. Then another and another. Robbie rushed to catch them all, but there were too many. And there's actually a little worm right here calling on that one. The chilly mist made Robbie shiver. Maybe Father Oak is cold, too, he thought. So he gathered the leaves and piled them over Father Oak's roots. Just then, Chip poked around Father's Oak's trunk. Robbie, what are you doing? Oh, I'm making a blanket for Father Oak. He's losing his leaves because he's cold, answered Robbie. But they're still falling, said Chip. Maybe he's crying. Father Oak must be sad. Let's give him a hug, said Robbie. His friends put their warm arms around Father Oak and hugged him. But still the leaves fell. Blackbird came and Blackbird, come and help us, called Robbie. Father Oak is crying, so let's hug our hugger, huggiest hug and sing our happiest song. Their singing works, Robbie's mother said. What's happening? She asked. Oh, Father Oak's crying all his leaves away, and we're trying to cheer him up, they said. Don't worry, little ones, said Mother he isn't crying. He's telling us that fall is here and winter is coming, Robbie's mother said. What's winter? they asked. Oh, winter is cold, dark, sleepy time when all the leaves and flowers hide and sleep. Winter sounds horrible, said Robbie. But without winter, we couldn't get ready for spring, said his mother. What should we do with Father Oak's leaves? asked Robbie. 
will make her own blankets. It's almost time for all of us to take our winter nap, said his mother. Soon, Robbie saw that all the animals were busy gathering leaves and food for the winter. See, even the little hedgehog has some. Through the garden, oh, sorry, through the golden fall day, Robbie and his mother ate and ate until they were as fat as could be. Is it time for a winter nap yet? Robbie asked. Not quite, said his mother. We still have a, f a favor to do for Father Oak. She gave Robbie five acorns. Here they are, count them. One, two, three, four, five. Count them again. One, two, three, four, five acorns. We may, must make a bed for them, she said. So they dug five little bit holes and tucked the acorns snugly in the ground. See, here they are. They're snuggled in. One, two, three, four, five. But here's their holes in the ground. Why do they need a bed? asked Robbie. They'll sleep all winter, just like us, said Robbie. And when spring comes, Rob, Robbie's mom, and when spring comes, well, it's a surprise. What do you think is going to happen when you, she plants those acorns in a little bed? We'll have to find out. Then they curled up together in their den. Robbie's mother sang a winter lullaby until Robbie fell around, sound asleep. Snug inside, Father Oak they drowsed away dark days of wind and ice and snow. Kind of like Coopersville right now. It's windy and cold outside and snowing. One morning, Robbie woke up to a tingle in the air. He poked his nose out of the den. Father's oak's branches sparkled with tiny new leaves. Mommy, he shouted, I think it's spring now. She rubbed her eyes and peeked out. Look, cried Robbie excitingly. There on the ground below them was the wonderful surprise. From each tiny little acorn bed, two tiny oak leaves pushed up into the sun. Our acorns have turned into baby oaks. Remember he planted five acorns? Let's see if there's five little baby oaks. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, each of them worked. So they have, said his mother, smile. And if you help Father Oak look after them, one day they will become big oak trees. More friends for you to love. And that's the end. Thank you. Have a good night's sleep or good morning.